Hello everyone from uh, the Grinning Gallery. Uh, we are still hunkered down. Actually, Megan and I are about the at the end of our two weeks of quarantine, but it just seems like it's getting worse, not better out there. New York, it's not good. Um, so we're probably going to continue as with what we're, we've been doing. Legally, we have to keep the doors closed. So we're hunkering down. Um, we're kind of waiting and watching to see what's gonna happen, but I want everybody to know we are open for business. Um, we've actually been selling almost a painting a day uh, in the last week. It slowed down a little the last couple of days. Um, and I wanna send a huge thanks out to Anne Mong, my friend and a fellow gallery owner, um, to thank her for buying something this week. We really appreciate it. Um, it's also supporting the artist and that actually was an artist in Italy. So uh, thank you very much. And we just want you to know that we're, the, the shop is closed, but we are definitely open for business. Um, we also want to make an announcement that we're, op we're extending the current show. This is the Fenske and Friends show, partly by popular demand, but also because of the pandemic. Uh, we are not going to have our Comte Rondeau opening that was slated for April 4th. What I find really interesting is um, I was stuck at home and I went into the basement yesterday and I was really taken aback by the paintings that we had stored there from Christy Gordon. Oh my God, she has these dystopic um, themes that were set for the Comte Rondeau. Comte Rondeau is the name of a report to the king. It's French for the report to the king. And we were using this show as an opportunity for the artists that are interested in glo global warming and other um, problems or challenges to the status quo. Um, we've moved that show to October 10th, which I think is perfect because it will be up when we all go to the ballot box in early November. Um, and there's plenty of fodder now. In fact, Christy called us when we sent out a little thing to see how all the artists were. She told us she's working on a five by nine foot painting um, in this series. So we'll post a few of those pictures. Um, I also wanted you to know that today we curated the show that is set for May 9th. It's gonna be happening. Um, Carl Bretzky's solo show, which has been on the books for over a year. The, it's incredible what he's working on. Oh, you're just gonna love it. And there's some of them are really great shots of Sag Harbor. There's one painting, what is it called? Um, Bungalow Comfort that um, is just amazing. Um, it, it is perfect because it looks like a cozy house, which is hopefully where we all are hunkered down. Um, we also got a call yesterday from Darius Yektai. He wanted to make sure his show for, what's the date? June 6th, it was ha still happening because he had to order frames. And he, he got the big yes from us. We are definitely moving forward with that show as well. Whether we can have an opening, a normal opening, or um, a phased opening where we invite uh, our special clients to, to book a, a 15 minute period where they can be alone in the gallery. That's one of our ideas for how to do this, but who knows, we're, we'll see what we can do. Um, uh, and I checked in, Melissa and Melissa Franklin Sanchez and Ramiro Sanchez are both working at home in her studio. And she reports that Iris is actually being a good girl, which I find very strange. <laughs> uh, we knew that she had it in her. Um, and of course, Raphael is being wonderful. Um, Mark and Tina D'Alessio contacted us from... Um, Portugal. Portugal. They just moved to a little town there. They have a big, beautiful apartment with two big, separate, gorgeous studios. They sent us a few pictures. Um, and they are working away for, they, they're both gonna be part of our California Dreaming show, which is August, what's the date? Hold on. August 8th is the opening. They're also gonna be participating in uh, other high season group shows. And they're busy working on um, enlarging smaller sketches into larger paintings and also finishing paintings that they had started out of doors there. It is spring, uh, it looks like. They had lots of yellow flowers blooming in their pictures. Um, what else? Ben Fenske, Amy Florence, uh, Leo Mancini, Tim McGuire, and Irena Ribit, okay. Ribikova. Ribikova were all, among others, together painting in Vermont when all of this um, hit. And um, Irena 
through lots of effort, finally made it home to Russia. We know that she's home painting. And um, Ben and um, Amy are painting, we know that. Um, Leo is working um, in his studio in Waltham, Mass. And Tim is getting ready for his duly earned major spot in our July 18th group show. Uh, he came in for this um, show and showed up with a half of a show and we had eight painters to accommodate. So we've moved a lot of those paintings into the July 18th opening. And um, we actually spoke with Nelson White today. He's hunkered, he was hunkered down in Via Reggio painting his umbrella paintings. He thought nothing could stop him. But the, the government of Italy has shut all the hotels. So he's in his apartment. And I also heard that Ramiro just dropped off some hot food for him. So we're glad that we're all taking care of each other where we can. Um, what else? Um, Victor and Kelly are working in their studio. They live in the studio where they work. And so they are in a perfect situation. Um, and he's working, Victor is working towards his high season group show, which he's the anchor painter for June 27th. We'll have a lot of new works. He's also working towards a big opening that he's having in Russia at a museum in October. So um, it's a good time to be hunkered down for him. And finally, uh, we saw online that Marianne Lucas is at home in quarantine like us on the East End. Most of us are in quarantine because all the New Yorkers kind of ran out here uh, about eight or 10 days ago and uh, ran around town shopping and we um, we are now a hot spot. Um, but anyhow, Marianne looks like she's at home taking time for self-care and having fun with her daughters as always. And I just wanna say, um, I really appreciate um, our whole community, both the artists and the clients. Thank you for shopping online and thank you for checking in with us. This is actually a good time for artists. They get to stay in their studios. Now, um, actually, Christy Gordon, got the very rare um, five month uh, bonus time to paint for her show, um, as well as Adam Strauss. Um, so there are some things good happening. Um, finally, I just wanna say, you know, stay home for public safety, for your own friends and your family, and shop online to help support um, all of these artists. And I guess that's it. We're gonna be sending out a press release with all this information and hopefully a couple images. Megan, you're right, you're gonna add images. Mm -hmm. And um, I, just want, um, I just want everyone to know uh, we can keep moving the ball forward a little bit without human contact. And that's what we're trying to do right here, right now. So take care. <laughs>